Hello everybody. So thank you for joining me on today's Ocean Wonders video. Today we are going to be learning all about the enigmatic eel. So what exactly is an eel? So eels are a type of fish. They've got very long snake-like or worm-like bodies and they can use these to burrow into sand or hide in rock crevices. There are around 800 species of eel worldwide. In Ireland, we have the European eel, which lives part of its life in the sea and part of its life in freshwater rivers and lakes. And we're going to be learning a bit more about the European eel later on. So what does an eel look like? So eels have very long, narrow bodies, like I said. Unlike most fish, many eels only have one big, long fin along the length of their body instead of several pairs of fins. Eels can vary in colour, so some might be grey or black if they're a deep sea species, while others that live in the tropics and near coral reefs are very colourful and patterned. There's some record holding eels as well. So the heaviest eel is the European conger eel, and that can weigh up to 72 kilos or about 159 pounds. The longest eel in the world is the slender giant moray eel, and the longest found measured in at almost four meters or 12 feet in length. Pretty long for a fish. So where do eels live? Most eels live in the ocean and they can live in shallow seas among coral reefs, while others can live um, very deep in the ocean up to depths of 500 meters. European eels, which we have in Ireland, start out their lives in the ocean, but then they migrate to freshwater rivers as they develop into adults. Some eels, like moray eels, hide in holes in rock crevices or in coral, while others burrow into soft sand and mud. So what do eels eat? So eels are actually predators. This means that they catch other prey. They're hunters. They eat smaller fish and crustaceans, which are animals like um, crabs and shrimps. And they also eat mollusks, which are things like sea snails, for example. Freshwater eels also sometimes eat insect larvae. And some eels are ambush predators. So this means that they hide and wait and stay very still until their prey comes near and then they shoot out and catch the prey. And some species can actually dislocate their jaw and shoot it forward and then drag their prey straight into their stomach, which is pretty cool. So let's find out a bit more about the European eel, which is the type of eel that we find here in Ireland. So they have a very mysterious and complicated life cycle that scientists don't fully understand and really didn't know very much about until quite recently. So the European eel starts off life as a baby eel or a larval eel. And this, um, the larval eels are found in the Sargasso Sea in the Caribbean, which is south of Mexico. The baby eels change and develop into glass eels and they drift on the currents which bring them all the way um, across the Atlantic Ocean until they arrive in Ireland. These young eels are then called elvers and they travel upstream, up rivers, and they mature into what are called yellow eels. So there's lots of different stages of their life cycle before they actually become adults. They spend up to 20 years growing into adults in rivers and lakes before they swim all the way back to the Sargasso Sea again to spawn and die. So a very long and complicated um, life cycle there for the European eel. So some cool eel facts. Most eels live solitary lives, but some species actually live in huge colonies, hundreds strong. Most eels are nocturnal, so this means they usually only come out at night. Eels can live to be over 100 years old. So there's actually a very famous eel living in a well in Sweden called the Brantovic eel, and it only died in 2014, and it's believed to have been about 155 years old when it died. So pretty old for a fish. A few more cool eel facts. Eel's blood is actually poisonous to humans, but the poison can be neutralized by cooking it. 
eels have over 100 vertebrae in their backbone. So these are the little backbones that make um, that put the spine together. And this makes them very, very flexible. So they're able to move like a snake. They move by creating a wave and they can actually swim backwards by just reversing the direction of their wave. Some more cool eel facts. European eels actually have very slimy skin. They don't have any scales actually, so that's quite unusual for a fish. And the slime is thought to help to protect them from disease, to regulate the water and salt content in their bodies, and to help them escape predators. And adult eels can actually survive on land for a short amount of time by slithering on grass like a snake. Now, would you like to eat an eel or have you ever eaten an eel? So eels are actually a popular food around the world. They used to be very popular in London back in the 18th century, where people used to enjoy eating eel pie or jelly deals. And eels are still a very um, common part of Japanese and Chinese cuisine. However, there are a lot of threats to eels. So European eels are critically endangered. So that means they're really in quite a lot of trouble. Their populations have declined by 98% since the 1970s. And scientists aren't completely sure of all the reasons that this has happened, but some of the factors are overfishing, so catching too many eels, pollution. So this is um, any kind of pollution in our oceans or in our rivers and lakes, building of dams, um, and weirs, which means that the eels aren't able to get back upstream, which is an important part of their life cycle. Um, these are all contributing factors that have led to the decline of eel populations. So how can we help to protect eels? Well, there's lots of things that we can do that help not only eels, but all the other animals that rely on our fresh water and marine environments as well. So one thing that we've spoken about already, and we speak about a lot in green schools, is taking action against climate change. So that might be doing things like making sure that you're saving energy, saving water, or helping biodiversity in your local area. You can campaign for fish corridors. So these are access ways to help fish like eels and salmon to get upstream past any barriers in the river. You can do your bit to reduce pollution by trying to use less and making sure that you don't litter and by encouraging others to do the same. And finally, try not to eat eels if you can, um, because European eel populations are already in quite a bit of trouble. I hope you've enjoyed learning about these weird and wonderful animals. I hope you enjoy the rest of Marine Week and our next Ocean Wonders video. Thank you for joining me.